According to Deadline, Brian Singer, director of the upcoming X-Men Apocalypse, has reached a deal with 20th Century Fox to direct and produce an adaptation of Jules Verne's classic novel, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Over the last decade, several directors like Mick G and David Fincher have circled their own film adaptations of the book. Last September, Singer announced on Instagram his intention to direct the project, saying that this new version contains not only the original characters of Captain Nemo, Ned Land, and Professor Anorax, but also some new and original characters and sci-fi plot twists culminating in a timeless adventure for all ages. Mark, buy or sell Brian Singer directing 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Well, I certainly buy what our man Ray did with that graphic. That was a very cleverly placed tentacle <laughs> right below <laughs> Brian Singer. You're, you're a pervert, Mark <laughs> Ellis. You, you are go. a pervert. I, I didn't know, only, only you I thought Brian about Singer that. just directed Mutants. I didn't know that he actually was. <laughs> one. Now, having said all that, nice Brian, Brian Singer is a guy who, yes, he brings the X-Men to glory life and I love watching those movies but he also can do things with fairy tales that I didn't think would compel me as much like when he made that Jack the Giant Slayer movie I wasn't really looking forward to it and I found myself being entertained largely because of Brian Singer's directing so if he's taking a project like 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea which we always talk about on the show we have a lot of fans write in hey what do you guys think is ready for a reboot we always want to throw like oh don't do Back to the Future don't do Beetlejuice 20,000 Leagues is so ripe for a modern retelling of Jules Verne's classic. And, I mean, Natasha hit it on the head. It's all these characters that I've been waiting to see again in a new version. Captain Nemo, Professor Anorax, the giant squid. We could do so much more than what the Disney film did, which still is a great movie to watch. But I think Brian Singer doing a more modern take of this, it sounds so good it can't miss. I'm going to buy it as well, but I'm buying I'm buying it if, if the X-Men slash Usual Suspects Brian Singer directs it and not the Superman Returns. I did not care for Jack the Giant. Slayer. I, I just kind of found it pretty boring. So I'm buying it. And, you know, he's got an imagination that I think will work well with the with mm -hmm. this. And he can modernize it and, and make it appeal to a mass audience. So I, I, I'm fascinated by it. Um, I'm totally on the same page as you, Dennis. I buy I buy the, the idea. And, and Mark, as far as I buying the, the remake of 20,000 20, Leagues, I think it's time for one. Um, I'm actually hesitant because of Jack the Giant Slayer and because of Superman Returns. It's like, oh, what's the vision like i want to wait to see a trailer before i get excited for it. that's what i'm really going to buy whether or not i want to see brian singer's version of this but if he's as locked in as he is with the x-men franchise then yeah you should be excited for it we just don't because he but the thing was he was passionate about superman returns yeah. too very passionate about it and we got a dud it was boring it's not a, it's not a bad movie it's not a horrible movie it's boring i mean superman's carrying rocks um so he goes to the hospital that's all he does. He and, and, and lick luther is all he's doing is sleeping with rich old ladies yeah it's like his the power casting's yeah. not even, <laughs> the casting that's actually a very cal pen says yeah. nothing cal, pretty cal, good power pen, to cal pen says nothing on that movie cal pen who's got one of the best he's got so much wit he says not one word <laughs> <laughs> cal, I mean, you do that with batista not not cal pen it's so weird that brian singer directed superman returns like like it's a thing you see what he's done with x-men and yeah. to think of how great the storylines are in that because that's taken Taking source material and adapting it to something new. Superman Returns, maybe it was so far out of the wheelhouse of what we're used to seeing Superman do that it didn't work, but 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, that source material that we want you to stick to for the most part. It's not just a fairy tale where you can have this premise and then go off wherever you want. You need to be pretty locked in to what happened in the original Jules Verne novel, so I think it's a good premise for him to undertake. You know, and one of the uh, viewers actually brought up a good point. Valkyrie was a movie that he did that was very, I mean, I love. I Valkyrie. liked it. I don't I, love it, but I liked it. I, I thought it. it was well done. So if he can do something along, you know, those lines and that kind of tone, I think that that would be. Uh, did yeah. Macquarie write that one too, right? I believe he did, yes. Yeah, so like that that combination, You're right. man. You're right. But Macquarie, yeah. now he's off doing his own directing and he's yeah. got one of the biggest stars, you know, buddy, buddy with Tom he's Cruise. He's on there. the up and up, man. Yeah. Superman should be carrying him. <laughs> hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.